welcome to Almurfa Beach, one of the best water sport venues in the United Arab Emirates. The wingfoil season started with the first event of the 2023 wingfoil racing World Cup series. It was the first event taking place in UAE and would act as an important marker to gauge how things are progressing in this young and rapidly developing sport. The level of competition was expected to be fast and furious as reigning world champions Paolo Novotna and Mateus Gio are ready to begin their defence of their titles in a fleet with great potential. I was very proud, it was a fix, I was proud, I was a bit scared, I was a bit impressed, but finally those guys are very good but they are very, very nice as well. Uh, they have helped me to, on, to, on the choice of uh, the right gear to, to select for the races. It all started with a challenging long-distance race that opened the competition with the whole fleet, men and women, lined up on the one start line for an upwind start. Luca Franchi celebrated the race's win in the men's side, while Paula Novotna confirmed her status as a favourite among the rest of the women. It was a test that required a combination of skills. Choosing the right equipment is always the biggest point of stress for the wing foilers, and this event was not an exception. You need to choose the right equipment for the right condition. Though. That means that when it's super uh, low wing amounts of wind, when there's not so much wind, you need to take bigger saves. And for example, when the wind is dropping or getting more or increasing, you need to change the wing or adapt to foil. The long distance race was followed by six short course races during the second day in 11 to 40 knots of warm wind. In the women's fleet, new girl on the block Karolina Kuszczynska took a couple of races away from the reigning world champion Paula Novotna, but didn't dethrone her. The men were split across two qualifying fleets. World champion Matis Gio scored six bullets from six races. While in the other qualifying group, Luca Franchi and Alessandro Tomasi scored three bullets each. The wingfoil world is going from strength to strength and such events demonstrate the fleet's improvements and offer an opportunity for checking innovations that can push the sport forward. I've seen a lot of progress and improvements in the materials and level, at least levels. Um, if I should compare the level 12, uh, 12 months ago, probably the biggest difference would be for sure the material. Uh, everybody was using Tacon wings. Uh, everybody was thinking it was the best for racing. I was already on the Alula thing and uh, already convinced it was it, it's going to be the, the best. And uh, it shows that it is the best. Also, the level of the athletes improved a lot. We were almost not able to tack on the both sides. And here it was so easy for everybody. It was normal. Wingfoil action is always impressive, and the third day of action in Al Murfa Beach was not an exception. After eight short course races in nine to eleven knots of winds, Paula Novotna remained on top of the women's fleet. Matis Gio had six race victories in the men's fleet and got in the lead. Competitors are coming from so many different backgrounds and sometimes need to adjust their game. How can freestyle skills translate in a competitive racing environment? I got the competition with a vision that all the tricks that I can do and uh, I just do my best and I try to be in my own state of mind and not worry about the others which in racing is slightly different because I am I have a lot of other competitors around me and it's it's not just about my performance because the other ones can go in my way or go do something that I don't expect and I need to be very careful not to get distracted and uh, try to be the fastest. I think I'm good at racing, but uh, not yet so good at, at wing foiling, like in general. So uh, 
I know how to race, I know uh, how should I start, where should I go, uh, where should I tag uh, before the upwind mark. But I still have some uh, struggles with the like diving, with some tags, with some like um, technical stuff with wing foil, with like choose the right equipment. It's like still new for me. The anticipation ahead of the final day was huge, since the newly inducted medal series has been designed to make it possible for anyone in the top 10 to still win overall. The first ranked wing foil would qualify to the finals directly, carrying forward two race wins, with the second ranked following with one race win. Wing foilers ranked 3 to 10 overall so far would be assigned to semi-finals, until collecting three race wins and earn a spot in the final. The finals would continue until one wing foil collects a total of three race wins. However, the lack of win meant no racing on the final day, so the wearers of the yellow bibs, Paula Novotna and Mattis Gio won the women's and men's titles respectively. The 2022 world champions continue to set the pace in a fleet that will soon get even more competitive. I just won the World Cup, uh, the first World Cup of the year in Abu Dhabi from the Week 4 Racing Class. I'm so glad to, to win this event after the world title from last year and uh, now I'm looking forward to the next competitions. We are in Abu Dhabi for the first Wing Foil Racing World Cup this season and I have won, so I'm super stoked. Last year I managed to win the world title and I'm gonna fight to win it as well this year. And this first stop is a great start for me. After three days of great racing out of Almurfa Beach, the fleet of riders learnt a lot about what it takes to complete around a variety of race courses in light winds. It was a spectacular way for this new sport to make its competitive debut in the UAE and everyone left the place with smiles on their faces.